Welcome to this Scriptcase Macro video. My name is Jamie Oates and I am your host. During today's macro video, we will be taking a look at the SC Redirect Macro or Redeer Macro. So what is this macro all about and what can it do for us within Scriptcase? The SC Redirect Macro allows us to redirect one application to another. It also allows us to pass parameters from one app to another. So let's take a look at this macro in action. I already have a form here created and I also have created a blank form. The blank form is just a very basic thank you for redirecting. And our form, let's run it, is also a very basic form with categories. So within this form, we want to access our events. And now what we can do is we can specify that on after an update or after an insert or after validated or depending on the type of form we are using. So in this case, I will select the on after insert. I do remember that we have all macros available within our little menu on the right hand side here with some help and information if needed. So I've gone ahead and pasted my example within our application and we can see here sc underscore redirect application parameter 01 finished with a colon another parameter also finished with a colon now this is very important to note parameters which we include within the redirection must finish with a colon we then also include a target we can include an error as well as a height for the modal window as and also a width so as mentioned for multiple parameters, we need to close them with a colon. And then the parameters which we pass within the redirection will be applied as global parameters within the receiving application. And they can then be accessed as such. As a very basic example, the simplest method for a redirection. So in this case, let me change this to thanks would be a very basic redirection. So if I now go ahead and run this and then after insert, so we will go ahead and add a new entry. So I will simply specify the category ID one, any type of name and any type of description. And now I will go ahead and add. So now if I change the category ID to 99 and add that, and then we are now seeing that we are redirected to our blank page instead of receiving the insert form again. So now this is the most simplest method possible. The next simplest method would actually be to use a URL. And there we simply provide the URL within the brackets. Another option would be to add a redirect with a target as we have specified up here. And this time we specify the application name as previously. We add some hyphens and then we indicate the target, which is underscore parent. Now the default is self. We also can apply blank and also modal. So now let me go ahead and change this to modal. I will also comment out our other two redirections here and then run our application again. So now within the form application, if I now add and just again, enter some random data and add again, we now receive our modal window being redirected. So back to our form application, we do also have a few other options as well with the parameters and so forth. And we can see here by including a parameter, we can include a field name or we can include our own parameter and then we can also specify a target. Now it is very important to remember here that when we pass parameters from one application to another, that even though this may be a field, and this one may be a, a random entry, it ends up being a global variable within the receiving application. And that is then how they also then need to be actioned on. So then within the new application, we would then specify our global variable and then we can use it receiving the parameters from the redirected application. Thank you for watching this Scriptcase macro video. I hope you have enjoyed it. Until next time.